1.45 million. Pounds being offered for a lottery? Great. Pictures of my cat on my phone? Possible. Tons of e-waste every year. Terrifying. According to the BBC, this 1.45 million tons is continuing to rise. And to put this into perspective, 1.45 million tons is the equivalent of 1,450 Olympic sized swimming pools. To put that into perspective, that's a 22 by 45 mile pool that's nearly the size of Luxembourg. What's worse is that spring research predicts that the UK will be the leading contributor to e-waste in Europe during the next three years. Ah. Yay. Improved tech and the desire for the latest smartphone has led to an increase in the production of these new devices. And with each passing year, more electronic equipment becomes obsolete because of these new devices that promise they have the next best bezel on their phone. This results, unfortunately, in many discarded phones that are not recycled properly. But it can't be that bad, can it? Well, only 12% of all mobile phones sold in the UK are recycled. That means that a staggering 88% of these devices, roughly 47,080,000, are dumped in landfill sites that are destroying the environment. <sighs> the impact of this waste is devastating to the health of the planet and everyone on it. If not disposed of properly, toxic chemicals leaking from these products could enter our water supply system, posing a severe threat to human health. Where there's a lot of work that needs to be done to help protect our planet, and I'm sure there's loads of videos online helping detail this information and how this is hopefully being done, this is a video by the big phone store after all, and I want to talk about how we, you, and other gadget phone tech enthusiasts can play our part in helping the planet. Refurbishing used electronics let us utilize recycled mobile phones, give them another chance at life, and let us help the environment get some much needed breathing space. Here are some areas in which they help. Number one, hey, save your energy, mate. Imagine the amount of power consumed during manufacturing when you buy a new phone. Now imagine all the human resources needed to produce the device and the materials required to make it happen. Okay, now imagine all that being done for roughly 1.4 billion mobile phones every year. According to researchers, creating a new smartphone uses the same energy as operating and charging a phone for 10 years. If you buy a second-hand phone, less electricity and less natural resources have been used, the demand for new phones is reduced, the energy demand is then lowered, and to sweeten the deal, you pay less money for the same phone. Pardon my language, but yeah. Number two, fair to the air. With the advancement of smartphones, more resources have to be mined. As a result of this, significant amounts of CO2 enter the atmosphere, contributing to climate change and pollution. It doesn't just stop there too. With production, customer use, and transportation of the goods, that CO2 adds up. However, if you purchased a used phone, no contributions to the increase in CO2 emissions, since you would already have access to a phone manufactured at a much earlier stage. As a result, you are reducing your phone's carbon footprint. Number three, resourceful resources. According to researchers at the University of Plymouth, it would take 10 to 15 kilograms of ore to produce just one phone. Most minerals used in phones come from nations with poor environmental and labor standards. And in addition to the conflict materials that come from these nations, visit the big phone store blog of this article I'm making a video about to see more information about conflict materials. Some certain resources have been banned from exporting because of their potential harm to the environment and scarcity. Speaking of which, fun fact time. On earth, 17 metals have been classified as rare. Here they are. The not so fun fact about these rare, hard to find lack of metals is that the average smartphone contains 16 of them. And to make things even more eekish, a large number of resources used in production of these phones are non-renewable. Here are some of those once in a lifetime precious metals that are in your phone are non-renewable and what they're used for outside of the world of your phone. Terbium helps your phone produce those rich, vibrant colors on your screen. Outside of that, it helps improve the safety of medical x-rays by allowing the same quality image to be produced with a much shorter exposure time. How about another? Neodymium in your phone is used for your smartphone camera's voice coil motors, or VCM. What does that do? Basically, helps your camera focus and stabilize the camera. Outside of your phone, neodymium is used to help eye surgery and the treatment of skin cancers. 
we need to protect our natural resources and switch to more environmentally friendly and sensible options. Number four, what goes around comes around. A circular economy. What is that? It's an economy in which all materials are reused, recycled and repurposed before they reach landfill sites. When we do so, we reduce waste and pollution, we preserve natural resources, and we don't need to produce as many raw materials. When you buy a reconditioned phone, you create 80% less waste than a new one. In 2021, by buying refurbished phones, the big phone store's customers had prevented 450,000 kilograms of CO2 emissions and 400,000 kilograms of raw materials extracted. Using smartphones responsibly and reducing our consumption can make a huge difference. To sum up, Reconditioning your old phone will stop it from ending up in a landfill, reduces the demand of raw materials being used, saves energy, and we pay you for your old phone. For the planet, don't be mean, be green. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you learned something new, and I'll see you on the next one.